Japan, March 10th, 2011. The last hours of normal life are passing. There is no indication that tomorrow everything will change for this beautiful island country. Miki Endo ends her working day, as usual at 5 pm local time, and is going home. For four years now, Miki Endo has been working at the Minami Sanri City Council, Crisis Management Division, Natural Disaster Prevention and Warning. She has no idea this was the last time she leaves her office in her life. The next day she will never leave work. The fate of Miki Endo, as well as the fate of millions of other Japanese, will soon be affected by a devastating event. In the form of an earthquake and tsunami, as one of the most destructive natural disasters humanity has ever experienced. Welcome to another video on the Top Topics channel dedicated to the 10th anniversary of this event. Miki Endo was born on July 18, 1986 in Chizugawa, Motoyoshi County, near Miname Sanriku. She has always wanted to work as prevention and protection worker. So she started a vocational school in Sendai. On her mother's recommendation, she subsequently got a job at Shizugawa City Hall in Miyagi Prefecture. Given that the city of Shizugawa was often damaged by the tsunami, there was great interest in establishing a disaster prevention department. Following the merger of the city of Shizugawa in October 2005, with the city of Minami Samriku, Crisis Management and Prevention Division was newly established. Miki Endo was assigned to this Crisis Management Division in April 2010, less than a year before the catastrophic event in Tohoku. Overall, in the field of disaster prevention, she worked for four years before becoming the victim of devastating tsunami. On Friday, March 11, 2011, Miki Endo, like every other day, went to work. She was nervous because the Tohoku area had been hit the previous day by a stronger 7.2 magnitude earthquake. Although it did not cause the seabed to rise, she still remembered the recent warning from scientists at the University of Tokyo. They said that Japan will soon face a huge earthquake, which will be preceded by a similarly strong tremors. Although the working day was almost routine and the information of the previous earthquake was evaluated, the bad feeling didn't leave Miki, and rightly so. At 14.46 Japanese time, 130 kilometers from the southeast coast of the Oshika Peninsula in Miyagi Prefecture, at a depth of 24 kilometers, there was a massive release of accumulated energy of magnitude 9.0 which became known as the largest earthquake in the history of Japan and the third strongest earthquake in the human history. The city of Miname Sanriku felt the tremors very strongly, as it was one of the closest cities to the epicenter of the earthquake. When the tremors stopped after many minutes, Miki knew what it meant and immediately ran to an alert system connected to loudspeakers spread throughout the city and began urging the entire population of the city to evacuate immediately to the surrounding hills. According to the strength of the tremors, she had a hunch that the tsunami would be here very quickly and that it would be unusually large. A 
And indeed, within minutes the water in the local harbor began to rise inconspicuously. At that moment, thousands of residents of the city hurried to the elevated places. Mickey continued to report from the second floor of the city building, even though she had already completed her duty and was still able to evacuate successfully. The water quickly spilled over the harbor walls and began to roll uncontrollably through the city streets. Mickey continued to report. Within minutes, the office building was trapped by flowing water. It was too late for any evacuation, and so the last moment of her life, Mickey devoted herself to continue warning the townspeople, who still had time to flee. Suddenly something unseen happened. Suddenly, something unseen happened. A second, much more destructive wave rolled over the city, reaching the height of the tallest buildings. Cities were literally washed away from the ground. Only 11 out of 40 people from the office building were rescued from the roof of the building where they climbed high antennas. Mickey wasn't among them. Mickey Endo's body was found by a search team on April 23, 2011 more than a month after the disaster in Chizugawa Bay, near where she spent her childhood. From the city hall building, only the steel skeleton remained and most of the city disappeared from the Earth's surface. But the heroic deed of Miki Endo was not forgotten. Six months after the earthquake, Yoshihiko Noda, former Prime Minister of Japan, said there is something we must never forget in the midst of this national crisis. It is the noble spirit of the Japanese people manifested in despair from the great earthquake. Miki Endo was not interested in her own life and maintained a sense of mission. The following year, in 2012, her story was published in the moral teaching material used in public elementary, high school and college in Saitama prefecture entitled the voice of an angel. As a story that teaches a sense of mission and spirit that contributes to society. The Minami Sanriku City Council has agreed to preserve the torso of the city hall building as a memento of earthquake remnants, in memory of the brave woman Miki Endo, the savior of thousands of fellow citizens, Miki Endo, who planned to marry her boyfriend in September 2011 and still sacrificed her life for others. We will not forget. My friends, thank you very much for watching and listening. If you like our content, please give us a like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Okay, see you at the next one. Bye.